man, I used to play the trap spot Propped on the block like I was part of the backdrop Now it's scale, props, effects and backdrops The right lighting, you never catch me biting Say you make it look so real when you pose the biggest fighting I caught lightning, stuck it in the detour Replicate epic scenes from the Creed War Compose pieces with artists that span the globe Fearsome foes fighting in the picture perfect pose Insert the comic book, cut out to shoot a show Oh, you ain't know? Yo, everybody know me I made nerds cool, cooler like my man Zobie Took the everyday display, gave it a spark Welcome to articulated comic book art That's crispy Just a reminder to come out and join the uh, ACBA Facebook group and like the fan page. I talked about this last week. We had 3,414 likes at the moment. But I talked about how I really take a lot of time in trying to update this page and the little Easter eggs that I leave. So, for instance, I linked a review from Ashrock for the Omega Red figure from Marvel Universe. And then in the comments, being that Ashrock put it up first, he gets the, the big... Uh, the big uh, part on the page here but in the comments I actually put another review and I put Pharaoh's take on it so Pharaoh reviewed it too but being that he was second he don't get the big portion of the page but you can still go back and see somebody else's take same thing here with my with my boys over at IWO Darius Prince and uh, Emiya uh, they got a channel uh, up now so a new channel but I linked one of their reviews that they I'm sorry one of their interviews that they did at New York Comic Con and then the comments I put another uh, interview that they did so you got to go back and check the comments and see other things that are there I do the same thing with pictures maybe and link a little funny video or something this one wasn't funny this was a review from uh, Trevor Harris on the uh, Captain America movie trailer linked it with a picture by uh, Ian Chan and then in the comments just so you could actually see the official trailer is there too so you know I spent a lot of time on this the albums, I think they are phenomenal. I think it's the best articulated art on the net. The best figure photography on the net, in my humble opinion. The albums are just amazing. I mean, you could just sit up here and just look at some amazing pictures. You don't got to do anything on Facebook except just come and just look at it. So, I'm here updating the page. Just linked Pharaoh's review here. Doing 20 things at once. Uh was also packing up some stuff just a reminder that um, ACBA tees is still selling pretty well I want to thank anybody any and everybody who picked up a tee in the past couple of years about to do a little mailing tomorrow uh, mailing a couple of tees to Belgium to uh, Hawaii uh, a couple to uh, Chicago so you know thanks to anybody who's been supporting that and you know first custom I actually purchased in life the hood custom by Solid Snake at one point I thought we was gonna actually get a hood figure from Hasbro but like many things they reneged on that but uh, I think this custom is better than anything Hasbro would have put out anyway although I do think he's a little tall uh, but I got him here just chilling about to throw on his hood I really don't see us getting a hood figure or any more of the supporting characters they can't even finish the Wrecking Crew, which was probably some of the most popular and noticeable characters out of his gang. We already got a Jigsaw. He was part of the gang, too. But uh, we got uh, Madame Mask, his girl. But I don't really see them doing any more characters. I love playing with the scaling of this, of this uh, diorama that Ogun made. Rest in peace to the brother Ogun. Uh, but this is a three and three quarter inch Spider-Man, a showdown Spider-Man to be exact. Looking real stealthy above the uh, top of this uh, building here. Snapping some flicks and moving right along. So there you have it, real simple. Even that out a bit. Maybe turn it up a little bit. Uh, I guess that's about right. 
quick and easy. I recently got rid of a bunch of MUs that I didn't really care about. I just kept ones that I could uh, have complete teams for or ones that are really good for MSD type displays, multi-scale displays like, you know, mixing the universe with the legends like the uh, universe wrecking crew with the giant man from Marvel Legends and, you know, stuff like that. Um, but I am looking to try to get as close to completing the Dark Avengers as possible. I know there's no Ares uh, from Marvel Universe, and I doubt we'll ever see one at this point. But I do need that Dark Hawkeye and Sentry. So if there's anybody interested in uh, selling or trading what they have, I still do have a couple of MUs I want to get rid of and a couple other things I want to get rid of. I've been getting rid of a lot of stuff that I don't need <clears throat> and uh, expanding on some of my... Uh, imports and and other type of figures that I that I really want in my collection. So, I'm just a die-hard Marvel fan, uh, and that's just something that I've always been. So, you know, a lot of people over the past like year or so have traded off or sold most of their legends and universe and stuff like that. And again, I, like I said, I I sold a bunch of universe because I just don't really uh, I'm not too big into the three and three quarter inch scale, but. Uh, my legends, I'm still keeping them, man. The display possibilities are still, uh, they're still almost endless right now. We still got a lot of stuff that we could be displaying, especially with new stuff that's coming out from legends. And even though I'm totally disappointed and upset with Hasbro and how they've been doing things, there are certain characters and, uh, teams and things I want to complete. Uh, as far as the Marvel Universe is, is concerned, and I mean, you know, the Marvel Universe, not as in the three and three quarter inch figures, but um, so, you know, that's just something that has always resonated with me is, is Marvel. Never really been a big DC guy. I didn't really get into DC stuff until uh, ACBA came around and I started seeing other people doing stuff and learning more about those characters and stuff like that. So, um, and then the other thing is with the uh, the imports is just, you know, I like certain things here and then, like, you know, the Power Rangers that resonates, that's some nostalgia. And um, uh, I think I'm kind of interested in doing the Smash Brothers thing uh, with the Nintendo characters. I do have a uh, Samus on pre-order. I should be getting a link in a couple of days, actually. Oh, this guy just fell over. And uh, the DBZ figures, obviously, I'm continuing with that. I actually just uh, pre-ordered the uh, Krillin. Uh, so I am uh, have just about every single character from from that line, aside from the regular release of Goku that came out before the SDCC version. Um, so yeah, just little things here and there. Transformers. I got a Soundwave on the way that I've that somebody been holding for me for a while. Um, I heard that they're gonna be re-releasing uh, Megatron. Um, so I had to secure that sound wave. That's a must. Plus the, the Hasbro sound wave came with all the, the tapes and everything at once as opposed to the Takara version. So I had to do that as well. Um, but, you know, I'm always thinking about displaying possibilities and I'm always thinking about the 80s, thinking about my childhood and things that really, really uh, resonated with us as, as kids in the 80s. Oh, just a little seaside action. A side, B side, C side, lights, black towel on the back. Simple stuff. So I went ahead and popped out the claws on this uh, Wolverine. Probably going to leave this one as is, as far as no claws. I'm going to end up popping off this head and messing around with some different interchangeable heads and stuff. Being that this is the one that I opened and uh, mass flaps were screwed up and stuff like that too then I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, mess around with them with some minor customizing I guess maybe try to put the X on the belt and the chest and uh, and that's pretty much it but uh, he looks pretty good in this lighting right here you can't really tell that there's any problems with the figures got him sitting here uh, in the ruins of the Xavier Institute here uh, this is something that's happened in comic books many many times as far as the uh, the X Mansion getting destroyed. You know, this past time when it was destroyed, it took them a long time to rebuild it. Um, so uh, Wolverine was kind of spearheading that movement to go ahead and rebuild it after he was not uh, messing with Cyclops no more. Uh, so that's what I was thinking about right here. Why is it that your three o'clock never happened to you? So it was actually during Messiah Complex when the Xavier Institute got destroyed and then they didn't fix it until after 
um, until after AVX or during AVX. I guess after AVX, so it was a long time. Usually they would rebuild it right away. And this was just some of the cast and crew during that time, just a few people. Uh, this was before Cyclops changed to the newer costume that we just got. And uh, Emma's been in the same costume since Astonishing X-Men for the most part, so you could throw her in here. I didn't show Nightcrawler's chest because his suit was just a little bit different during this time before he uh, died in Second Coming, but here we are. Nice little scene right here. I think I need to tweak the light a little bit more, but overall pretty cool. Here we go. Could always add a couple of little um, t um, finger lights to just accent it. The mansion pretty much burned down. This is kind of just smoldering right now, I guess. Not really on fire, but still kind of hot. Uh. So usually we go with one theme for an entire month on the ACBA Facebook group. But this month we broke it down into a new theme for each week. So the first week was actually Femme Fatales. So we ended that week. Wanted to get a shot with the uh, Blonde Black Widow here. New Avengers. This is reminiscent of the uh, when the New Avengers first started. When Bendis first got on the book. Uh, I guess this was like the second arc maybe. I don't know. Um, but uh, actually they ended up killing her. <laughs> or burning her. To death or something like that um, but yeah just have her taken out the new Avengers right here this week's theme is gonna be got you covered so all uh, uh, cover style shots uh, got you covered is a, a term we use in ACBA to describe a, a shot or a scene uh, that's lifted directly from the front page of a comic book so that's the second week doesn't mean that every single thing that you post in the group has to be that but that's the theme and there are actually prizes uh, this month for the best picture from each week's theme so we doing that we just trying to keep it fun keep it fresh and uh, keep everybody putting up putting their best effort forward putting their best foot forward so this is it leading up into next year's tournament this is uh, the training process getting everybody ready so everybody is uh, really displaying at a really high level right now I'm really proud of the the way the page is going, so we're just trying to keep that just going. Just talking with my man Dave about uh about Silver Samurai. So he was trying to get the get the bootleg movie from this dude in my building <laughs> for Wolverine, but I think he's gonna pick it up tomorrow. But uh, talking about how we never got a Silver Samurai figure from Marvel Legends. Silver Samurai did appear in the pages of New Avengers during this during this run. Uh, when Cap had put together this team. Well, that's what I don't got here, Cap. But, um, they did have a plan for a Silver Samurai at one point, I believe. And I just heard today that they're going to be doing another Wolverine movie, I guess, in another year or two years or whatever. So, I guess if Hasbro still has the license that maybe we may see some more Wolverine Legends, maybe it's a chance of getting a silver samurai but <clears throat> with these guys you really don't you really don't know they're so unpredictable and so uh unreliable so speaking of which i never talked about the wolverine movie in any of my videos i thought the movie was okay but i thought that uh robotic silver samurai was some straight up bullshit that just kind of ruined the movie for me honestly i don't know if this is showing up or not but I was able to get that locust blood brain spatter thing. I cut off a little piece. It's a little trail of blood coming out of Wolverine's eye right there. Uh, but here's the whole piece. I guess I'll use this for something at some point. So the other thing that I've been doing is doing a lot of uh, B-side photos. For instance, I got a picture here from John Connor. And this was a shot from one of his latest episodes of uh, Plastic and Paint. And uh, this is the main shot, but then I, in the comments I also linked the B-side picture, which was his other shot with just a different angle. And I'll talk about the A-side, B-side, C-side, ACBA shots more in a moment. And here's one from Thomas Keene. He puts together a little scene here uh, with the... Uh, Norman Osborn head that he won in the uh, tournament from Glassman Customs. It looks like he popped it on a Professor X body. I had uh, 
sent them a little message the other day saying I wonder what that would look like so it does look pretty damn good and then uh, for his B-side shot it was just a closer shot of what was in the background and the uh, A-side image and I'll link that so again you have to check the comments of everything there's little Easter eggs that is in the comments of everything here's another uh, interview from from our friends over at import and action and uh, they did an interview with the good smile company and then in the comments I linked another interview what a picture uh, that Darius actually uh, took here and it was the Tamashi nations interview so the page is looking better than ever I am um, I gotta pat myself on the back I'm sorry toot my own horn whatever you want to call it pause but uh please take some time out and look through the page man it's very entertaining and give us some likes we now at 34 44 from the last time that i was shooting but let's move forward i'll talk about this uh a side b side c side stuff more uh but let's get some displays going setting up this picture right now while i'm on chat with billy nika jc michael Everybody's doing their own thing. Oh, these guys are talking. Michael is painting something for the diorama. I'm setting up this display. There you have it. So I posted a video from uh, JC over at TNI uh, talking about the uh, Marvel Legends figures, the uh, variants and running changes that we missing and some things that's coming up in the upcoming waves and because if you remember last week I showed those Spider-Man pictures and mysteriously the boomerang and I guess some other figure was, was missing from those figures that Hasbro had originally showed uh, but pretty much what he was talking about in the video was the same thing they said at, at uh, SDCC about trying to get out these other variants as you know uh, before they released this Punisher variant with the red skull on the chest it was supposed to be the run and change was supposed to be a blade figure so a lot of people were really anticipating that blade figure so you could check it out it's on the ACBA fan page I'm not gonna go into it into too much detail but it, it's there it's just one of the many things that I link over there on the page um, so this setup here is uh, the, uh, I think it's a Locust drone uh, that comes with this little removable um, uh, headshot uh, effect here. And uh, I didn't really care about the, the figure too much, but this effect is, is dope. I actually shaved it down a bit at the, po at the part where it pops into the, uh, the, the drone's uh, neck. And then I just stuck it on here with a piece of wax. I removed the head off of the Hydra soldier here, popped it off with some hot water. And uh, I got a bunch of these, so I don't really care. And it could go back on anyway. It's not a big deal. But And then just propped it on there with some wax and one little cutout there in the front to uh, show the, the muzzle flare. I didn't bother with a sound effect cutout because I was kind of thinking along the lines of when something uh, really loud ha happens, how it's that, uh, that silence that you get for a moment and maybe that ringing in your ear. And that's what I was kind of going for right here. And it's a simple little scene uh, that you can see the two other Hydra soldiers react and I use the uh, the variants uh, with the open mouse to show them kind of reacting to this and you get a simple dope scene right here. And here's a look at the uh, actual effect. There was actually one little extra part on here that was a little piece of the locust face that I cut off because obviously that's not going to work with a human uh, enemy getting his head blown off so I cut that off and like I said, I said before, I had cut off like a little piece from here to use as a drizzle of blood coming from Wolverine. So you can see it there. Probably the first person that I saw use this, or one of the first people that I saw use this effect for Legends was Shardimus Prime, actually. He used it for a picture. I think he had only posted the picture in the admins group for the Facebook page. I'm not sure if he posted it on the main page. I don't remember, but... He used it in a picture of Deadpool shooting himself, blowing off his own head. And uh, at that particular time, I had already been thinking that I wanted to get it. But you know how that is. That happens a lot with displaying where you see somebody do something that you wanted to do. But, you know, I went ahead and still got it. So not to discourage anybody else from going ahead. You might think of an even doper display. 
to do something with it. Packages! So the smaller package was a package from Japan. Got me another JoJo figure. Hyro Fant Green, I guess I, that's how you pronounce it. I actually missed the other figure that's supposed to go along with this one. I have to go back and, and grab that one. <clears throat> I still need to really give a close look at these figures in my uh, in the video here. I guess I will. And then I finally got a Figma Link. Real happy to get that. Uh, so and yeah. then the larger package was Soundwave. My man, New York Man Child, has been holding this for me for a while. And I had to clear up a bunch of other stuff and pay for stuff and do this. But he held it down for me, so he finally sent this through. Uh, I'm probably not going to open this right away, but I'm still happy to get it and have all the tapes at one time. Uh, spent some real nice pictures up in the group with these uh, with this figure, too, uh, from when it first came out. It's been a long day. Still working on stuff, though. Got some Hydra agents being hauled away. Shield. I'm gonna expand on this a little bit more though. Mighty Avengers, no Sentry. So like I said earlier in this episode, I did link a little uh, video from uh, TNI uh, on the fan page. I guess I'll link it in the underbar here uh, with Hasbro's explanation for for the missing figures. Definitely thinking about getting rid of these uh, old uh, Hydra soldiers now that the new ones are uh, about to come out. You know, they have the Bucky Cap mold. They're a little smaller. I felt like these were always a little big. I don't know why Hasbro made them so big. And the limited posability on these just, uh, you know, it wasn't but so much you can do. I mean, they still did uh, show up in a lot of nice displays over the over the years. Uh, from different people and you know we've everybody has worked with them to the best of their ability and the best of the figures capabilities so uh, but I'm feeling like I want to get rid of all my old Hydra soldiers and uh, make way for the for the new ones there's really going to be no point in having both versions I mean unless you kind of want to do like an old school thing because the look of the newer ones that are coming out is more modern anyway um, but I guess I'll show my army builders. Uh, like I said in an episode before, I, I took pretty much all of my army builders out of my main display and just have them uh, at the ready for, for displaying. Uh, makes me less lazy to try to do something with army builders that way that I don't have to pick them out of my main display and put them back. So, little mighty Avengers here uh, arresting some Hydra agents with some shield agents on the side. And there you have it. Uh, I think I came to my senses as far as my Street Fighter figures are concerned. I'm gonna just keep pushing forward, trying to get the rest. I think I might be getting a T-Hawk. I had a T-Hawk originally, but it wasn't the uh, player one color. So I think I might be getting a T-Hawk. So. I want to see them redo every single female from Toy Biz and Hasbro with the new female moles. But add that ab crunch, man. That ab crunch. If they would do redo this Miss Marvel to Carol Danvers with the uh, Moonstone mold and just add an ab crunch, perfect, perfect female figure. Um. This figure's still okay, but it don't really stack up to to Moonstone. That Moonstone is just great. Just needed that ab crunch, man. Just got some uh, Civil War action here. Be nice to get an updated Patriot. I mean, during Civil War, he was rocking uh, the uh, the open mask, just the mask over the eyes or what have you. But I'm just thinking about that scene in Civil War where he was trying to evade the Cape Killers be dope if we could get some of those figures too i highly doubt that but uh that's what i was kind of thinking about here just taking some more shots it's actually kind of late and i should be going to bed so goodbye so like i said i'm no longer displaying well uh, a few uh exceptions here and there but i'm not heavily displaying my army builders in my main display anymore i am uh just keeping them to the side so i could use them for pictures and stuff when I want to uh, I think I got 
uh, maybe 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, like, maybe like 16 right here, including a couple of females. I gave away quite a few over the past couple of months. And, um, and then I got like another eight that I'm working on that I have in a setup right now that I'm working on. So I got 24 in total. I had, I guess like 30 or something like that. I don't know. I think I got 24 shield agents in total. Oh yeah. Put those back. This is like miscellaneous heroes. A few things that I want to work into my main display. Iron Man armors. This is mostly uh, heroes in here. Aside from that saber tooth. That was a newer figure that I was wondering if I wanted to put in my main display or not. But a bunch of Iron Man armors. Pretty much every Iron Man armor for the most part. I okay, think. I'm lying. I found two more shield agents. So maybe I got 26. Or maybe I do have 30 and I had 35. I don't know. There might be some more stashed away somewhere. Red Hand Ninjas. I think I'm at exactly 20 of those if I'm not mistaken. More Hydra. These are all open mouth ones, I believe. Scrolls. I think I got 15 of those, if I'm not mistaken. Damn, I gotta organize this a little better. Uh, what else? The Wolves, got three of those. White Hand Ninjas, I should have exactly 10 of those. Custom Mole Men, I should have 10 of those. Correction, I think it's 15 red hand ninjas. That should be right. I might have had 20 of those to start with, uh, but I gave away some uh, of those. For the most too. part, this is all extra stuff. I have at least one of these characters in my main display, either the classic or modern version of at least one of these. So, uh, Mystique, I have the classic version in there. I need to incorporate Mole Man, that's who I don't have. Another Ares that I'm missing a leg for for the longest, but I do have one complete. Yeah, I should have exactly 20 Hydra soldiers. I think I got 14 of the regular versions and six with the open mouth. So it is the few Hydra agents I actually have in my main display, just six of them. Uh, but that's six of the 20, not an additional six. But uh, like I said last week, I was gonna uh, trim this down a bit and consolidate this display a little bit. Get the phone. And the select brews as well. So that's two queens right there and three other small select ones. And, and I showed this last week, but those are the other brood queens and a couple of the select ones. They were Miss Marvel. I had mentioned this too, but I uh, emptied this uh, cabinet of figures, of loose figures, and just put carded stuff and, uh, and import stuff in here. So that's what's here right now. My black towel set up. It's just a big board, and I hang the towel over it, drape it over it. Sometimes if I need more space, uh, I'll hang two towels across it, but that's what it is. That way I could look up really high uh, if I want to. I gotta keep reiterating that I'm loving the way the page is going. The Facebook group and the like page. The level that the people are displaying at, taking photos at, it's just tremendous. And the, the system, the new system of, of uh, what they did recently was actually made it where you can add photos to the comments too of the uh, on the on the like page, um, so I've been really taking full advantage of that, linking a lot of stuff in the comments. So I'm just reminding again that you gotta check the comments of every post. There are other Easter eggs. I just posted some other stuff up yesterday, a real dope picture from Slings of Web for Veterans Day, and then I posted some other pictures as comments to that pictures of more Veterans Day pics, and. Um, uh, also, another thing that you need to check out on the fan page, there is a link for uh, organizations where you can donate to help those affected by the uh, the uh, super typhoon in the Philippines. There's a ton of Philippine uh, artists and, and people in the ACBA community and stuff like that. So I linked a, a review, I'm sorry, a video from Advocate uh, giving you links to all these different sites to donate. And so, you know, any, any little bit helps, any little bit counts. So if you could donate a dollar, then, you know, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm sure those people were, a lot of people were displaced and a lot of people were, were killed uh, in that disaster. So again, I'm linking everything that I possibly can on the fan page as it relates to ACBA 
and uh, and linking it with pictures too, pictures that come from the group and you know as they relate to whatever that post is. So the post about the Philippines, I linked a picture that somebody did specifically for that uh, a guy named Noah. Arliss, who had a really dope picture, and I linked it with that. B-side so. action. I said I would talk about the A, B, and C-side shots showing up in the uh, ACBA group. So uh, me and my girl got together. We put together a little diagram, uh, basically explaining how you would post the A, B, C-side shot in the ACBA group. I think it came out phenomenal. She did all of the technical work and all of the work with the computer and stuff. I, I did the wording, and John Connor actually... Uh, unsuspectingly provided the pictures because he had did a, a A, B, and C side shot and it was just perfect for the description for the actual diagram for it. So that's something that you could actually download uh, in the ACBA group. It was posted to the like page as well. I think that came out great and a lot of people asked for more diagrams and stuff like that and descriptions to describe different ACBA terms and, and what have you. You know there's an ACBA glossary of terms and uh, that's always being updated and you know it's new terminology every week different things to describe different aspects of of ACBA displaying so um, this would be considered a a b-side shot uh, you know the uh, the first angle uh, actually this might be the better angle the overhead angle so this might be a side and then one of the first uh, angles that I showed might be b-side and then uh, the next thing that we do is a c-side shot which is basically just uh, showing your work and showing how you did the display lighting what you use i got another light inside the building i tried to make it look like a rooftop when i zoom in uh and that was that that's how this was done some construction paper a black tile on the back but again this would be shown in photo format and it would be posted uh one post after the other in the group so for instance you post your a side shot and then right under it as a comment you would post a picture for your b side shot and then right under that as another comment you would post the c side shot which would show all your work so just a diagram for how that's done and the specifics of that is downloadable uh in the acba group and on the like page All right, so this week's import spotlight is the uh, Figma Link figure. I'm probably the last person on earth to get this figure, but I got it on a re-release, got it from Japan. It was coupled with that other JoJo figure that I showed earlier in the episode. Um, so that was like my October purchase, I guess. I think I paid about 35 bucks for the figure, if I'm not mistaken. $35, well spent. The figure is fully posable. It is an amazing looking figure. It comes with the sword, the sheath, the shield. Four sets of interchangeable hands, left and right. Uh, you get a sword slashing effect. You get a, a stand. You get one interchangeable face. And uh, this front part of the hair, I forget what you call that. And uh, overall, it's a, it's a great purchase. I would definitely recommend this figure if you haven't already gotten it. Like I said, I'm probably one of the last to get it. But dope figure nonetheless. Got him here uh, just in a forest, kind of roasting some marshmallows. Got the little rabbit there on the left, if you can see. Uh, none of those other... Uh, uh, accessories come with the figure the marshmallows I don't even know where I got that from that little flame effect I think I got it from uh, some frosty the snowman figure like a couple of years ago and the uh, tree props people have asked me about that and uh, in main course before uh, that was originally came with the McFarland headless horseman box set um, and uh, then just two little bases here in the front that came with Marvel select Hulk, I want to say. Yeah, I had two of those for some reason. And put together a nice little quick scene right here. Snap some photos, and that's that. Okay, this has been another episode of Main Course. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to come out and join the ACBA Facebook group. Don't forget to like the fan page. I've talked about those things a great deal in this episode. All of the links to everything will be in the underbar. And uh, I guess that's it. A lot of things I'm working on behind the scenes, as usual. Trying to get some, some real nice things out uh, in the next month or so. And, uh, oh yeah, fuck Google+. Plus. I hate that shit. If you hate Google+, Plus, thumbs up this video. Talk to y'all next week. Peace.
crispy. 